Do you have an Ethernet cable? Do you want to join two of your computers together and send and receive stuff? Well, this is what I'm going to tell you on my next video. With this thingy, it's an Ethernet cable. So the first thing that we want to do, if you want to connect to your computers, the most simplest way that you can, you know, send and receive stuff through your computers, they have a, well, most of them, do have Ethernet cables unless you have a really really old computer but Ethernet cable you can pl plug it up to your router and get internet that way as a hardwired connection but you can also use these cables to connect both of your computers if you want to send a document over just the most simplest prehistoric unwireless way that you can think of so to do that um, most videos or internet will tell you that you need to get a wire maybe with one end already connected and uh, get one of these plastic pieces pop it on there and redo the wiring in the head of it then really all you need to do is just cut the wire switch some tie them together and put it back together and it's the same thing so that's what we're gonna do and the first thing we need to do is cut this in half so this is what it's going to look like when you cut it open. All I did was make a slit in this and peel it back. And this is one end of it. This is what it's going to look like when you have it opened up. Uh, this is a Cat 6. I don't believe the Cat 5 or Cat 5Es have this uh, plastic piece in the middle. But no matter which Cat that you have for Ethernet cable, you're going to have all of these wires in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a wiring diagram so you have something to look at for reference. And each one of these pairs are twisted together with two separate ones. So you have a total of eight up here. And you can see four of those twisted together, two in each. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching out two of these pairs with the other side. So let's get started on that. First thing we're going to do, obviously, is take off some of this plastic ungoodness that we want to get rid of and connect together our new cable. And there's a bunch of different color combinations that will show up on here for different T numbers and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about that. But basically, just to make it simple, a normal Ethernet cable is going to have your first through eighth pin going straight through making a straight connection from the first to the eighth. That's a normal connection and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crossing over certain connections so one pin goes into a different pin. Now you can pin it differently like other videos will show you and you can also just change the wires so whatever data is going through one will enter another one. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is how the pins are going to be set up once you do the crossover. Your first one is going to go down here, and if you make a reference on here, so your first pin is now going to be in the third pin's place. The second pin is now going into the sixth pin place over here. The third is going to the first. The fourth and fifth are going straight through, and the seventh and eighth are going straight through with the sixth one changing places with the second one. So that's all we have to do in terms of what's being switched with what wires. So let's get on that now. One of the things that makes this kind of difficult for this uh, method is not knowing which which connectors are going to which side. Now there's only a very very few options that this could be and what you can do is get the end of it and look up at the top of it as such. And as you can see, the bottom rows are white and the top rows are your colored. Now because there's such few combinations that this can be, it's going to go from left to right, one pin, two, three, four, all the way to eight. So your first one is that weird white one, and you can't tell what stripe it is, but that's fine. Now if you look online, you can find 
different, uh, the few different color combinations that could be. So the second pin is obviously going to be a solid orange. The fourth pin is going to be blue. The sixth pin is going to be green. And obviously the last one is going to be brown. So all you have to do is look online to find something um, like this one that gives you exactly what you need to figure out which pins are which. That's all you need to do now that you actually have that. Your, yours is, might not be the same as mine, but now that you have that, now you can switch around the color. Remember, when you check the pins like this, make sure this little clip is facing down when you look at it. All right, based on the one that I just showed you, I just separated them out like this, that they go in order, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, and brown. Now this is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now the only thing I need to do is switch over the wires that need to be crossed over. But before I do that, I need to make sure I strip the ends of these along with the ends of the other one. And once you have all these stripped now, now you can connect them out. And I kind of did a simple colored chart right here. As you can see, this is what they're going to be going in as and this is the places that they're going to be in. So now all you have to do is start connecting. So the first one, the orange white, the orange white is now gonna be connected to the green white. So tie those together. Your orange is now gonna be tied together with your green and etc. all the way down. And um, let's get that done. All right, like I said, the first one that we're gonna do is orange, white, and green, white. So the first is gonna become the third. And what to, what you need to do to do that, the orange, white, as I have over here, the orange and white, and this is the green and white on the other end. Go ahead and solder those together or tie them together, whatever you want. Probably be better if you did solder them, but if you don't have a solder gun, you can always twist them together. Next one we have is the orange and green. Go ahead and solder those together and keep on going down the list that I just showed you and also the pictures that you have or if you do have different colors just go ahead and find them on Google what your color combinations are going to be and once you're done then you're going to have a crossover cable that you can connect on one computer and it's going to pop in on your other computer and you can go ahead and send and receive data.